Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cookie Cast. Today on Cookie Cast, it's the Formula One podcast straight to the apex. The boys are all here. They're bringing you the review of the previous race and the preview of the next race to come. There's news, there's all the race gossip, everything you could possibly want from a Formula One podcast right here, right now. To show how much you love this fantastic podcast, you could like, share the podcast around, subscribe to the podcast, leave a review to tell others how much you love the podcast. Generally, just share the love, people. Right. You don't want to hear from me. You want to hear from these guys with all the Formula One news and knowledge. Here we go. This is Cookie Cast, straight to the apex. Hello, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. This is Straight to the Apex podcast, season three, episode four. Um, joined as always by my two co hosts, Mr. Tony Rawson. Hello, good evening. And I, I threw you there because I went to you first. And also, he's back from his holidays. He's, I don't know if he's tanned because the room is dark, but it's Mr. James Stainforth. Hello. Are we all right? Yeah. yeah. How was the holiday? Really good. Really good. All the booze I could when drink. You... Like Iraq, the... didn't you? Iraq? Yeah. Well, that's why he went. What, because of the beards? They just, what, they just thought, oh, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll get on fine there. Or... We're straight, oh, no. in. We're stay, straight <laughs> in with casual racism. Tell you what, wow. Why does everyone in Iraq have a beard? Anyway, I mean, their main, I mean, their main religion is, is Islam, and so males do usually have beards, so I can understand your assumption there. Not so, very typical. Where did, you, where did you go, James? Ignoring his <laughs> casual racism. I, I went to Turkey, and to stay in true James Steenforth kind of risky kind of stuff, I'm sure I sent you guys the pick. I got very excited when I went past a road sign that said Bill Cosby's restaurant. You did, yes. Yeah, it's, it's known for its, um, yeah, being a bit risky. So I can imagine it would be pretty I mean, perfect I for you. I don't really know what Bill Cosby's done. I think they just, I think, I, I don't know. They just thought, you know what, that's all the celebrity name. Let's put it on and people yeah. come. And it's like, why don't people want to come to my restaurant? <laughs> And when they do, why don't they want the pudding? I mean, if I'm honest, I I don't really know who he is. I've seen him in Family Guy a few times. I just know he did something wrong. No, um, let's leave it there. Let's just leave it there. That's all, that's, all I know. that's all you need to say. That's all you need to say. He did something wrong. Um, you didn't I love go, all I'm nervous. You didn't go with the whole city... Um, trip then, James. You just, you know, cause now you're the biggest whole city fan in the world going in the box. You was in tech yeah. and play the same time. Oh, I went in the box for once, one game, and I only went. On the <laughs> Which is pretty much what the same reason I went to Turkey, really, for food and booze. Well, so. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, but nah, it was fine. good. So, as you'll notice, we're a little bit late with a podcast so today we're going to do something slightly different we're going to quickly quickly talk about two weekends ago um let's be honest there was only one talking point from the race really uh qualifying was pretty much status quo um but yeah so australia um qualifying was pretty much bang average barring lewis hamilton getting knocked out in q2 Yes. By, by yeah. Sonoda, I believe, did a quick lap. Even Lance Stroll got into Q3 in Australia. Um, that car's shit. That car is shit. Well, yes. I've got well, I've got a few points about the car, and I'm sure 
James sent a few points because he thought it was podcasting last week. We'll talk about that. But qualifying was the same old. Max first. Signs, Perez, Norris, Leclerc, Piastri, Russell, Sonoda, Stroll, Alonso. Hats off to Signs because he didn't look very well all weekend. He had a massive bandage on his stomach. And he drove, yeah. well, he drove well, which obviously... Very was. well, very yeah. well. Um, any quick notes from Quali? Should Albon have took um, Sergeant C? I'd be oh, interested. Good quality, yeah. Um, that, yeah. So basically, yeah, Albon crashed the car in, was it, in practice three? Yeah. And Williams yeah. didn't have a spare chassis. He cracked, He put a big hole in the chassis. Um, and, and they, they didn't have Logan. a spare. So they yep. went, Logan, you shit. <laughs> giving your car to Albon. Uh, in a roundabout way, yeah. They did that. There's a really good interview on Sky Sports uh, F1. Ted absolutely puts it to James Vowles. And we all know he speaks very, very, very well. And he explained himself very, very well. The right decision, I think. 100%. Is more more chance of getting points than Sargent. And... That was basically what he said. That's why we've done it. <laughs> There's more chance of him getting points. Why wouldn't you put your number one driver in that car to give you, like, say, to give yourself the best chance? Unfortunately, yeah. it didn't pan out. But you've got to. It's like leaving your star striker or your star half back on the bench in spot over yeah. sporting terms. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would. Yes. And you. You know he would have got scalded if he'd have just kept Logan going and not put Alba on him. You know he would have done. Well, let's be honest. It's a street circuit. Alba, uh, Sergeant will have probably crashed on lap two. So... True. Yeah. And then they would have had no sassy. No. So, yeah. So, But, yeah, apparently there's still a, chass- a chassis short for Japan. They've had to repair oh. Alex's yeah. only. Oh, he did. Well, in this interview, he did say, in a roundabout way, he said, we've gambled with two uh, and we're still, we've put everything into two. We haven't got a third one ready mm. enough. We, we, and that, we knew that at Christmas. Yeah. But obviously what's happened has happened. And he said, literally Monday, they'll have to fly all the way back to the UK to decide what they're going to do. And... Yeah, looks sounds like they haven't been able to get that new Sashi going. So yeah, they're gonna go to wow. Enterprise and just hire a Kia. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna do what? Um, what happened in Top Gear? Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> well, they you might have to well. drive an Indy car. <laughs> they might as well see what they can cobble together. Um... Taking his first Grand Prix win with a lead. I mean, is this is this um, a side effect of the budget cap era? Like, are we starting to see, you know what I mean? Like, not having a car entered into a race because you didn't have the part. Like, it's back in the 50s. Like, how, how, are we going to get that more? Or is it just a Williams-specific thing where they've tried to... Because we talked about this on a previous podcast. James Vowers is trying to change the way Williams works. And instead of being three months early, he wanted them to be two weeks late because that gave them more time to develop the car. Um, yeah. You yeah. I, I, I think it's evidence of the budget cap. Mm. Um, he did. Again, watch the interview. He says, he says it quite a lot in there because they've got sponsors on the cars. And if they're yeah, only yeah. running one car... Don't look good. That's absolutely, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And also, Logan Sargent is a paid driver. He's got sponsors that pay to have him in that seat. Have him, like his so, helmet, to everything. So if he's talking, not there, then... Well, they're talking about that Williams might have to retain some sponsorship money for that very reason. Yeah. Basically, Logan Sargent's backers pay for him to be in the car, and he wasn't. So, I mean, it's not like Alex Albon drove around in Logan's... I mean, that's what they could have done. Just put, oh yeah, Logan's <laughs> driving, and then 
Logan never took his helmet off all weekend like the Stig. And he was Alex <laughs> Albon. That's what really they should have done. Because they never should win it. <laughs> Honestly, Mark, you should well, be well, a I mean, Surely you <laughs> they, they, uh, They've got a guy like me who is paid to ask the questions of what if. Because if, if James Vowles has actually made that gamble of, right, look, we're just going to go with the two chassis, surely there was like a guy like me sat in that room going, well, what, what if we break one? <laughs> and, and really, if you was into your stats like most members of F1 teams are, they'd be like, we've got a 90% chance that Logan Sargent is probably going to crash and break a chassis. And Albon's pretty much 60 70% going to crash and break a chassis. <laughs> are we two? Are we? You're right. Yeah. Why? What? Why hasn't someone in that organisation said, "Are you sure?" Like, yeah. You anyway. that? Yeah. Are you taking the piss here? Anyway. So yeah. So that was qualifying in a nutshell. The race. Max Verstappen, obviously, everyone knows, did not win. Finally, did not finish. It did, not, did finish. not finish. It took one of his mechanics to sabotage his brakes. And yeah. I mean, smoke billowing from the car after a few laps. It was tense. It was also quite funny. I've never heard a crowd that loud. Oh. Maybe uh, maybe uh, Silverstone watching it on telly when I think it was oh, somebody pipped Max to the first few corners. Like that loud, like mm. raw, like off TV. I was just like guessing. I was so happy. So uh, I think yeah, everybody was. I was absolutely gutted that I never saw the race. Because obviously I, I, I was getting ready to fly off that day. So I, I woke up, woke up at daft o'clock like I could like do on weekends for some reason. I thought, oh, I can watch the race. Started scrolling through my phone while waiting for the kettle to boil. And he said, oh, Max Verstappen has got a DNF. So I thought, oh, crap, oh, I've probably missed the first couple of laps. Well, that's all right. I can watch the rest of it. It's going to be a good race. Max ain't in it. Scrolled about two more posts down. Then all of a sudden it went, oh, post from Mercedes saying, disappointing day for us both. But, you know, we, we will persevere. And I was like, I have genuinely just missed the end of the race. <laughs> I thought, oh, God. <laughs> Has to have been probably one of the best races for a while, simply because Max wasn't in it. I've seen the highlights, I watched them, and I, the, the thing I was really happy to see was that Signs actually overtook Max before his car broke down. Yeah, yeah. Signs so all over from the, from the start, and because you, you know what, everyone's like, they'll just be like, oh, well, the only reason Signs won it is because Max wasn't in it anymore, so he. And it was like, well, no, signs was all over him, and signs got past him, and then after that, Max's car turned to shit. So that was one of your points in your message. Do you think Science would have run won the race regardless of what happened to Max? Ferrari was looking quick. I mean, I think it had been a good fight. I, I yeah. I good, the only thing that would have probably, if if Max hadn't gone out, I think the only thing that would have ruined it for Signs. Unfortunately, it would be the, the, the pit box as always for Ferrari. Just one what? mess up with the strategy or, you know, a mm. slightly longer pit stop, you know, that fraction of a second. It just, yeah. I mean, they've done all right this year, Ferrari, but they've not been in that position. I mean, it, when they're under pressure and got a, a race win, that's when they tend to fold, in it? So, yeah. I, I still think Max had too much, but. Yeah, I it agree. would have been very close. Very close. Um, so, yeah, the, the order, Sainz, Leclerc, Norris, Piastri, Perez, Stroll, Sonoda, Alonso, Hulkenberg, Magnussen. Um, two names also missing off that list was Hamilton and Russell. Hamilton's engine went bang. Um, George, well, George, yeah, George went bang and then panicked on the radio. What do you think? Yeah. About, what do you think about the Alonso incident and penalty? Well, Karun, I think it was Karun on the uh, Sky Pad. He, he got it perfect. He showed you the lap before, 
He never, Alonso did not slow down at that corner. Showed the lap where he crashed. He slowed down twice. And yeah, I, they, just they got it right. I think they got it right. They got it right. They, it, it impeded him so much so that he crashed. He caught him unaware. Uh, it wasn't dangerous. Like... It wasn't dangerous. It just, it was just what, what he did just impeded him slightly and caused him to crash. But, um, yeah, his reaction was a little bit funny. Um, but, yeah, but, but yeah. wouldn't you panic? I mean, why wasn't a red flag brought out? I I, I got his reaction. I would have been exactly the same. Um, I mean, his ass is in the air on one of the fastest corners. On a street circuit that's tight. On no a street circuit. Areas. There's dust. It was, just, it was just screaming for somebody to drive into him at 100 miles an hour. That's what you was hoping. No, I wasn't. But I was. He was like red flag, red flag, red flag. Like his his voice got higher and higher. I I don't honestly um, understand why it wasn't. I really don't. That to me could have been <laughs> a massive accident. Massive. That could have been awful. That. How did they not see it quick enough? They must have seen it quick enough. But then I think they thought. There's a lap to go. What do we do with here? Like, if we red flag the race, it's going to fucking drag on, and then how are they going to restart the race? Right. Well, well, they wouldn't. But I, I it, mean, it was the last lap. They could have just red flagged it and said, that's the race, done, we've finished the lap early. Yeah, I suppose. They're, they're the bosses, aren't they? Of it? Yeah, Why yeah. Not? But, yeah, I mm-hmm. can understand his reaction, but... It was, it was yeah, equally it quite was, funny. It was... It was scary but yeah again crashing on the last lap I know. got a habit of doing this um, well we'll talk about making the news have you guys got any other points from the race let me just consult um, let me consult your text message you sent before you was back. drunk what did he say Jake DNF uh, Alonso is naughty and we all know it <laughs> Lando had to go past P- oh the Lando Piastri thing. I know a lot of people's kicking off about Lando yeah. given the the position over Oscar, but his 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 tyres was five laps younger. If you're fighting for yeah, points, right decision, yeah, right decision, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were scared and asking for a red flag. <laughs> And then I put interesting how after all the shit that's been going on at Red Bull, that Max has an issue with the car for the first time in two years, and Perez didn't do much better. Well, Perez, Conspiracy. Perez, that car. What was it, Russell? That said that car is a rocket ship, and I think Hamilton before his engine went bang was like, "Oh my god!" Like he's literally passed me and he's gone. I cannot get get anywhere near him yet. It was only fifth. This, this to me screams, he's not good enough because when Max has an issue, surely Red Bull wants someone that can slot in and take that win to keep it in Red Bull. You want your second car to back you up. It was fifth. Yeah, it was fifth in the probably the fastest car in the field. Yeah, Ferrari were closer, but quite a lot of drivers said. That car is on rails. It's ridiculous. And he was fifth. Yeah, I agree. I do agree. I, I think you should be doing better. I think you should be doing Max better. Is better. Is, Max's car is a rocket ship. And, well, I mean, at, at times we all kind of wish that Max's car would be like a rocket ship. I mean, you know, like Challenger or something like that. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's just a parade. It's... I know I always say, I know it's all, I always say it's, you know, it's conspiracy and all this kind of stuff, and you know it's, it's all bullshit. But come on, Perez, you are, you are driving the same car. Well, Max, and you sure talent. So Max where was, was it? Max was driving around with one of his brakes stuck on, and he was still quicker than bloody Perez. <laughs> <laughs> to to me, he, he's he started last season well. It's like we we all said about his confidence. He's not good enough. But there's other things going on in Red Bull at the minute that is probably masking that. 
Um, yeah. Really. But yeah, it was. It was interesting. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Um, so driver standings, Max 51, Leclerc 47, Perez 46. So he's still fared, but that's mainly due to probably the field being poor outside of Ferrari and Red Bull at the minute. Like I said, McLaren are there or thereabouts, but they're still nowhere near. Merck are absolutely fucking dire. Um, <laughs> Well, the, uh, we'll we'll talk about that. I mean, James, do you want to do the predictions? Clearly, we had such a good week with our predictions, all of us. Uh, yeah, so um, we all did shit, and that is the prediction. Yeah, thank you. Moving uh, on. <laughs> moving on. So yeah, uh, Mark, you were six. I was on ten. Tony was on seven. Um, we all went max because. Why the hell wouldn't you? The guy has never had an issue with his car in the last two years. You know, a bit awkward. Um, me and Mark both went Perez second. Uh, Mark, you had Piastri third. Idly Clerk third. Um, Tony, you went Max Science Perez. Yeah. Every it was one looking one. promising at one point. Mm. In qualifying. Yeah, well, well, well yeah, Perez got... Have, he would have probably been the closest to penalty, yeah. yeah, Perez got a penalty, so that kind of screwed him down a little bit. But yeah, it was yeah, looking yeah. good. And then it all went... Yeah. Just hits up. What do we know about Formula One? Clearly, nothing. Nothing. It was our chance, guys, to, to finally get Max out there. But... I mean, even... Charlie, who never picked Max ever to win, didn't get a point. No, I was just checking that. I was like, this is going to be really funny if Charlie has actually done, like, got all three of them just because she was being awkward. Soon as he broke down, I was like, Charlie's nailed this. She's not picked Max. Oh, for fuck's sake. She's going to get full points and overtake me. And then I was like, "Uh uh-uh. How did that happen? Can't say anything. I'm on the final warning unless I really feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> steady now, steady, steady. It's a bit too early. Um, so that's the race done. We said quickly talk about that. So I have got. What do you want to start with? Do you want to start with talking about Red Bull, talking about Mercedes, or talking about other things other than them two? Start with Mercedes. Start with Mercedes. Red Bull. Start with Mercedes. Right. Toto Wolf was going to miss this weekend. He's now going to the Japanese Grand Prix. Funny that, isn't it? Um, He's also... He's also... I I, I wouldn't turn up. I'd I'd stay well clear of the track. (laughs) I'd call it sick if I were you, Toto. Yeah, I would. Um, Toto's been speaking to a certain German driver about maybe potentially driving for them next year to replace Lewis. I did say he may come back. You called it. And he's opened the door. He's opened the door. He's opened the door. That was me. Was it, it, was no, it you? That, no, go back. Yeah. It's <laughs> bullshit. It's massively bullshit. This is it's an FIA warning. This is an it's FIA the, warning the in the making. The kebabs have got some dodgy in this. <laughs> Skewed his mind. Sebastian Vettel is talking to Toto Wolf. One of them, one of my co-presenters called it. I am not getting involved. <laughs> I don't know who called it, but apparently one of them did. Both have. I know I mentioned it at one point, and I think Tony did another. I, 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 Look, who cares? I think it'd be great. I think it'd be absolutely great. German driver, ge- driving for the German team. Hope he beats George. Uh, to me, it's a no-brainer, even though he's had a couple of years. I, I don't know. I'd, I'd stay out of it if I were him. Well, to be fair, it's not I'm a best. great car to jump into, is it? That's what I mean. It's just mm. going to tarnish his career. It's not going to... What, what else is it going to do? What can he achieve in that shite? 
Mercedes have said they've admitted they've got simulator correlation issues. Really? It's took you two oh. years to find that out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could have told you that when you said in the sim, the car wasn't bouncing. And guess what? It fucking bounced when it was on the track. Yeah, like, I, I heard about that as well. After, after further investigation, they found out that they've still got like the PlayStation 4 version of for, Formula 1 2020 in there or something. By the sounds <laughs> of it, I think they've got the PS1 version, like 1997 <laughs> Formula 1. Yeah, so they've admitted the problem. I mean, they've not said they can fix it. That was whatever statement and news have put out. Not one of them said, well, we know how to fix it. They've just said, hmm. There's a bit of a correlation issue. They're gone. It's done, guys. Don't yeah. burn the hats now. Give up now. Well, to be fair, I went to York Outlet on Friday and I was looking at Ferrari tops. Oh, here we go. We're all oh. going to be Ferrari fans. Yeah. Boss of Ferrari. Boss of Ferrari. Come on. Come on. I'm off. I'm, I'm off. Jumping on. I'm jumping on that black horse. Get in. I don't think Viva I can do it. Italia. Viva Italia. I think I could switch from Mercedes to Ferrari just for that. We're all fans of Ferrari. We're all fans. It's okay, James. We I'm jumping. I'm right. telling you now. I <laughs> will have a Ferrari at, on next season. I am jumping. I can't I'm, I'm getting a Ferrari. I'm getting a Ferrari with 44 on for sure. For fucking sure. I'm going to be dressed head to toe in red. I'm going to have an Italian flag <laughs> behind me. I'm going to start drinking really expensive coffee, even though I hate coffee. Um, I'm going to have galetto instead of ice cream. Oh, I'm going <laughs> full in Italian. Every day is pizza day and everything. Oh, the class. Yeah. After what, what, pizza, what yes. I love Italian food. I love exactly. coffee. Jump on. Get in. We've always liked Italy. Pizzas, margaritas, pasta, galetta, oh, Fossa Ferrari, Viva Italia, um, Tutti Frutti, whatever they say, boom, done, in. All in. Yeah. All in. <laughs> All in. And he's in Science's car. Oh, it's going to be electric. I, I still think that's... Especially after last... Bad. Weekend, I feel really bad for science because he had a massive, massive gash in his stomach. He felt shy. He didn't ring in sick for work. He turned up and he won the Grand Prix. And he's still going to be without a drive potentially at the end of the year if I did up pull the finger out. Well, he could end up elsewhere. Mm, So I I was at work the other day. Just before I went, I went off. I was I was at work and I was walking across the floor somewhere, and I I heard an agent talking to the team leaders, and someone mentioned Max Verstappen. Something like, oh, I can't I can't believe you've never heard of Max Verstappen. So obviously I stopped and like I looked and went, how the hell have you not heard of Max Verstappen? You fire him, fire him on the spot. Yeah, it was, it was like, oh, well, Formula One's not really my thing, and I went, I went well, football's mm-hmm. not mine, but Wayne Rooney is. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this and not because he slept with grannies. Yeah. Anyway, this, this last night, I told her, oh, are you an F1 fan? Then I went, yeah, fucking, yeah, love me F1. And then she went, oh, are you a Mercedes fan, aren't you? I went, yeah, I, I, I like Mercedes, yeah. And she went, oh, you're a Lewis Hamilton fan. I went, you've got to support your local, you know, the British boy, you've got to. Absolutely. Anyway, she, then she started going, oh, you, you're going to start supporting Ferrari next year. I went, mm, no, I went. I'll support Hamilton, but I won't be supporting a Ferrari. And I said, and on top of that, I think they're replacing the wrong driver. And she went, she went, oh no, she went really signs. And I went, yeah. And she went, but well, signs is shit. And I looked, I went, signs is the only non Red Bull fucking driver to have won a race. Yeah. And then she went, oh yeah, there is that. And I was like. The, uh, what the fuck? And in fact, since then, he's the only non-Red Bull driver to win two races in the last two years. I know. Mm. I was, and he's out of a job. I yeah, was, that's crazy to think like that, actually. 
I was talking to someone the other weekend, went out for a drink with him, and he, he kind of likes Formula One. Um, hates Lando Norris. Hates him. Said he's a wow. cocky, he's just arrogant, can't stand him. I was like, I can kind of see where you're coming from. I, I, I wrote the British drivers, you can't back George Russell, and Lando is one of them that he's borderline. So it's got to be Lewis. It's got to be. Yeah. And Lando will be my good once Hamilton's out the picture. Yeah. Y- yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll probably then, yeah, become a Norris fan, to be fair. Um, yeah. So, any other news? Barring Red, we'll leave Red Bull for the second half, but any other news? I've heard uh, on the social media that um, Lauren Stroll in Saudi Arabia gave Adrian Newey an ultimatum uh, and he gave him a huge, a huge, huge offer, eye-watering offer to come and join the green machine that is Aston Martin. Um, That's all I know. I don't know if he accepted it. I don't know if he looked at it. I don't know if he... Do you think he would? Put another zero. I don't yeah, man, absolutely. Paper, that's what it's all about. It's all about them greens, isn't it? It's all about the reddies. I, I, I don't think... I don't think Adrian knew he would just go somewhere because the money was ridiculous. There's one the place, other place going. To go. There's one There's place, one place, place going. he's going. He's joining. There's one place he's going. He's straight to the and Apex it... team of next year. <laughs> He's Dream Italia. Dream. I mean, it's even in our logo, Beat Tony. I mean, we <laughs> we we foresaw this coming. We're like the Simpsons. We knew it. All of do is put like an A at the end, the end of each single word. Straight to the apex, sir. <laughs> That's it. It, 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 Come on, Newey. Oh, <laughs> what we need to do is find three Italian guys to dub our voices, and then it'll go out in Italy. <laughs> Dress up like Mario. I've got a Luigi costume for when I did a, a run as Luigi. There we go. There we are. Comment below yeah, what I should be. Luigi, Mario and <laughs> Toad. Tony can be on the Princess Toadstool. Bowser. <laughs> Bowser. Um, one thing I will say, James, I'm very disappointed you started that story with, oh, I do like Formula One, yeah. Why didn't you say, oh, yeah, I do love Formula One. I do a podcast. I mean, that's literally my go-to when people talk to me about Formula One. Yeah, he's Did you not sell bit. us? What an asshole. And I bet he said nothing on audio as well. Nothing. Oh, Dino. Nothing. Why aren't you, you just... You, yeah, you just, yeah. Think of that comeback. Yeah. Scumbag. You, don't, you don't promote us. You could have had a towel <laughs> made. Oh, straight Yeah, you could have had a T-shirt. You could have borrowed podcast. the cap. You, you know what? I'm, Number I'm, one. I'm, Number one in all this. Number one in all in all's big. All the big players. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you haven't promoted us. I, I'm absolutely... I'm, I, I think that's where for points deduction, FIA, if you're listening. <laughs> they, that was, they will not be named. Mm. They will not be named. Any message. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, oh, no. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Um. Any other little snippets you got? Baron Adrian Newey joining the, the red machine? No, that's all I kind of know. What, sorry, James? Off the top of my head, no. Um, I've got the former Renault boss, Flavio Briatore, has had heart surgery. And David... David Sanchez has left his role at Mac- as McLaren's technical director for car concept and performance after three months. Wow. They've yeah. replaced him with a guy called Rob Marshall, who joined from Red Bull. Oh. There could be an Adrian Newey disciple. Um, I mean, Adrian Newey's already said it's not just him that makes the car go fast, but we all know that's a lie. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so McLaren have dumped their guy after three months to basically put a Red Bull guy in charge. So, interesting. Watch this space. Yep. 
So, right, on that note, should we take a break and then talk Red Bull news in the second half? Because I reckon we've got quite a lot to say about Red Bull and their shenanigans over the last couple of weeks. Let's do it. Right. The next chap. See you on the other side. Hey, you. Yeah, you that's listening right now. Thanks very much for tuning into this episode of Straight to the Apex, the Formula One podcast from CookieCast. If you're enjoying this episode, why not like, share and subscribe? Whilst you're there, feel free to check out some of the other podcasts that CookieCast has to offer. If you like football, we've got a football podcast. NFL more your thing? Then the Laces Out podcast is for you. Maybe even a little bit of the wrestling. Just look for the Getting Over podcast on CookieCast. Maybe you want to listen to Andy's Darkest Timeline. It's there too. So, the F1 boys have probably got themselves a drink. It's time to get back to the action. And welcome back. Ciao. Bueno. Ciao. Ciao, bueno. I'm letting Italian ready for next season. Um, Right. Okay, so. Red Bull. Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. I saw a story yesterday that the female employee is very upset, angry, scared, intimidated, and lonely. And she's not allowed to talk to anyone about any of it apart from a dad and brother. Wow. Which is very, very strange. Um <sighs> Wow. No, not really. Isn't it? I, th- I think anyone was getting suspended pending investigation. One of the first... Oh, jeez, you put my bloody corporate head on now, Alec, like being all unprofessional and having you and Andy getting nervous about what's he going to say next, and I'm I'm being managerial. I know, they, this is a 10 for the books. And then she, she'll have probably had to sign some kind of NDA... And yeah, she'll be told you, you can't talk to granted you can talk to family and stuff like that because they've got fuck all to connection to the investigation, but I wouldn't say it's strange and No, but it was very strange in the sense that only dad and brother. I mean, that might be the only family she family she's got, I suppose. But Oh yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. There's... Christian Horner's very I want to move on, I want to move on, I want to move on. It's still a massive cloud over Red Bull. I mean, not much was said about it in Australia, really. Christian kept... Yeah, Christian kept a bit of a low profile. I mean, you guys got anything else? Um, Have you seen any other stories? Have we got any more allegations against him? What's your take on it all? I I don't know. I've zoned out. I only know what you've just said. She's suspended and she can't talk to anybody. I mean, it's it's all it's terrible for F1 to be honest, but Christine Horner's got he's got power, hasn't he? He's got power. And we'll see how it goes, but there's a massive divide behind the scenes, supposedly. Um yeah, I don't know how it's going to end. I really don't know how it's going to end. I'm trying to... Horner's not going to go, neither is the rest of them, so... No. Yeah. I think well, I, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be... So, right, look, this is what's happening. It's... it's some Something's got to happen at some point, because, you know, what... what what, we, what round are we in now? What, what round four, round five? Christ, I'm talking like Jonathan Ross now. Not giving me eyes out. And yeah. we're still we're still going on about it. It it it's not. I'm I'm sorry, mate. You, you you can walk around holding your wife's hand and 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 force a kiss on her in the pit box, which you've never done ever. But all of a sudden, done. You can do that as much as you want, mate. It ain't going to go away as easy as that. And um, I I think, unfortunately, regardless of whether the allegations are right or not, people ain't going to be happy until something's been done. 
I and agree. Just, saying there's there's nothing to look at. There's no further action. Not there's there's still gonna be people unhappy about it. Even if it comes out he's a hundred percent innocent, people still want something done because yeah. they, they want blood. Let's be let's be brutally honest. People want blood. I mean. Mm. Lewis has come out a few times in interviews recently and said it's bad a bad image for Formula One at the minute. You'd like to think that he knows a lot more than we do, but then equally, would a driver be involved in that? Is it more... It's like any wet gossip, isn't it? I'm sure he knows quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but, but would you want to be involved in it? If would I you know, want to know no. Would it be like, no, nah, I don't want to know. That's okay. I want, I want to stay well clear of this. Yeah. And That's I think, a, oh, yeah. I think certain drivers are. I think, like you say, your, your Piastris, your Landers, they probably won't talk about it. Your Leclerc, your science, they'll just be like, it's none of my business. I just want to get on and drive the car. Um, Lewis is all about he's all about the brand, isn't he? And, you know, he is mm. Mr. Formula One and Mr. Lewis Hamilton 44. And he, he does have outspoken views about racism and climate control. And so he will want to put his two pen of in. But like I say, other people like Leclerc, Science, they'll just be like, it's nothing to do with me. I, I don't want to know. Like, it is, it is what it is. But like you say, I mean, Josh Verstappen's probably got a massive wooden spoon in the background staring stuff. He won't let it lie. Yeah. Mm. He's going to win the place. Just going back on Tony's point, though, as well, with the whole, are people going to want to stay out of it? For, forget the whole kind of not wanting to get involved in the whole story and press releases and stuff like that, but is it going to have an impact on Red Bull where... You know, if, if they're looking for, I, I don't know, let, let, let's say they actually do what we keep saying they're going to do with Perez and they're going to boot him off. Is any other driver going to want to go there because of what's going on? If Well, if, if you found out you was offered a rival, a rival company said to you, James, Mr. Manager, here's a big wad of cash. We, we would like you on our team. Um, we've heard good things about you, blah, blah, blah. And you know that this rival is a toxic environment. Would you want to go? I think you're absolutely right. No, don't matter how much money mm. they're offering. Like you don't want to go into that environment. However, on the flip side of it, you get to drive an age and you with Red Bull. So you're like, I'll just ignore all that crap. It's a balance, isn't it? It's a it. It's quite hard which way you'd come down until you're in the situation. But, yeah, you're right. It'll it'll certainly make people question, do I want to go to where, where the Verstappen's rule the roost, Christian Horner's a sleaze, and there's arguments between the Thai family and Austrians? No, not really. Mm. I wonder, I completely agree with that, but I also wonder when it's all said and done, who will pass an opinion? Or is this going to is this going to roll on to the end of the season? Um, I hope not. I, I think Red Bull being Red Bull and Christian Horner being Christian Horner is it will get brushed under the carpet. I, it probably already has been. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. That kind of look. If, if we don't mention it, it'll just go away. Yeah. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Um. FIA guy. Has been cleared, the head of the FIA. He's ah. been cleared of interfering. Mm. Good. Oh. Good. Good. That was a. Uh... Yeah. That's interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if that's a bit of a. Not a warning shot, but not a slap on the wrist, but a kind of a like. Watch yourself. What like for him, like I've got to watch myself and what I say and what I do a bit more closely. Mm. Well, that's that's gone to the carpet. I've not seen that been broadcast 
on social media or anything. No, that's that was a very brief statement on some random Google. It come up on my Google homepage, and it was very very brief, and it was some really random media outlet that Sully be something has been cleared. All right, move on then. That's that done. Yeah, but no, nobody wins. The sport does not win. Who nobody wins. Well, so that's damaging <laughs> to the sport. We it? we know with our own. We, we you don't beat the FIA. We you can't see who they are. Exactly. Unless you stand exactly. up to them and say three words. <laughs> Don't do it. Be it. There is a song. Uh, You've already had a warning. I've had two warnings. Two warnings. I can't remember the song. Uh, it's definitely three words repeated, and you get louder <laughs> and louder. It's in there somewhere. I may bring it out later on in the episode. I may do. May do. <laughs> um. Any other news? Any other points you want to talk about? I mean, have you got a question of the day, Tony, like your Formula One match or drive a car or? Not really. The only thing I've got to say out loud is the uh, whole car, the whole FC uh, on Good Friday, the uh, rivals round in the Super League. Um, whole FC are the shittest rugby league team in the in the land. Um, long may it continue. Secret agent uh, Tony Smith is doing a fantastic job. Incredible. I, I love his um, post match um, speech as well. When all, all he could actually say was, Well, they didn't put 50 past us. So that's <laughs> should have done. We can only get better from that. It's like, oh, Fucking hell, mate. We should have done. Um, yeah, it was a. Oh, no, nothing. It, Nothing else F1 related, really. It was a good win for the Red and Whites. But, like, next season we will all be supporting another Red and White team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, I mean, that... it, I, I would be full on red then because, you know, there's, you know, the Hull Kingston Rovers, the Arizona Cardinals and, you know, Ferrari, Viva Italia. Yeah, that's it. Mm. So and we are all admitting... City, all City released a, a third kit. And it's just the Turkish kit. <laughs> well, that that was last season's the tag on it. That was last season's the the owner brought out an away kit, which was a white shirt and red shorts because it was the colours of the Turkey flag. There you so, go. That's it. Let's go. I mean, Let's we are we are all admitting we are jumping on the Ferrari bandwagon. And then James has fought it. Me and Tony have decided that we're full. Oh yeah, full. We've all full. given it. Oceans and joined. Yeah, I mean, but this is the only time, guys. This is your only opportunity. For two seasons, I am full on Ferrari. I mean, one yeah. of my ex work colleagues, I don't know if he listens, he may probably not do because he can't stand the sound of my voice. But Mark Ainley is the biggest Ferrari fan going. I said I hate them and I'm a bit of a tanker now. I've uh, decided to join them. So sorry, Mark. Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be actually nice to join forces as well, Mark, for once. Like, actually be fully on a full team together. We are going to be one. Who, who wants to be red? Who wants to be white? And who wants to be green? We'll all have a colour from the flag. and Literally, yeah. next season... Well, I- that Zoom arranges us correctly on the top of the gallery just so that we're in the right order. Ah, we'll, we'll go we'll sort it. I, I can move we'll go all in. in. But, yeah. Andy, you're going to have to translate because we are going to be speaking Italian next year. And if you, do know, if you do know any people that will dub us in Italian, please get us in touch because we are going full-blown Italy. 2025 is the Italian dream. I mean, it's not hard to yeah. speak Italian, is it? I mean, seriously. A couple of your words, and then you're babbity boobity. It's all good. And we're getting cancelled before we make it to the next season. Well, Tony normally upsets some country somewhere else, so I thought I might as well, like, you know... How, has Tony upset Italy? 
Well, we will have to have a, a bit of a listen to previous episodes. Maybe. <laughs> I think I might have done when I... Um, was it... Um... No, no, I haven't. No, no I don't well. think I have. Well, let's not do it before the end of the season. Um, yeah, let's not do it. Come on. Like... On a serious question, though, like people, when Lewis Ham- Hamilton announced it, they were questioning him. And now we've seen Merck over the last few weeks. Has he pulled a master stroke off? Has he seen this? Has he got lucky? Or is this just a blip and Merck are going to come back next year? Nah, because yeah. he'll have already seen glimpses of next year's car at Merck. And at the same time, when Lewis went to Mercedes, People was calling him and asking yep. him, and saying, "The fuck are you doing? Why are you going there? You've got so much potential in you. Why would you want to go to a team like that?" And he he, he pretty much just said, "Oh, just watch me." <laughs> and he just walks off, and he's like, "Yeah, um, six world championships later." Well, when he did it, if you if you remember, McLaren were dire. They seemed. To, I remember they had a car, and the air vents were like L's. And him and Jensen were in the car, and it was, I think they were like 17th or 18th or 19th and 20th for some. And like you say, he went to Merck, who were just in front, and they were like, what are you doing? And we now know what happened. Uh, Merck have kind of followed the McLaren trend of winning some championships and then going absolutely off the boil. Don't get me wrong, Red Bull did it after Vettel. Mm. But like you said, do these teams become stale? Do they think we're winning? We don't need to do anything. It's I know the cycles in the cycles in sport, like cycles in everything. So, do you like say? Do you not think that Merck will get it right with the new rules next year, or do you think it'll be probably five, ten years down the line that they come back if they're still in the sport? <sighs> I mean, it's it's a it's a tough one. I mean, Red Red Bull did it, did it. Ferrari have done it a few times. Mm-hmm. Um, you'd like to yeah. think Mac do it as well, but I, I, I don't know. I think it's over. I think it's over. Yeah. I, while while I we're on think it's over that for a few years, if not a good four or five. Because Toto's got to go. Danny. You reckon? One. Yes. They've got to change the guards. Lewis is going. I think this is the first one. You think? First, the first. Yeah. I well, mean, Toto's been there for what? Nearly a decade. He owns part of the team. I, I was going to say, he's got part shares in it. So is he going to want... It'd be a good time to sell them shares if I was him. And how old is he? He's got a couple of kids, hasn't he? He's not that old. Put his money, he's put his money and time into something else. I don't know. I'd, I'd, find... I'd like them to come back. Like I say, McLaren, obviously McLaren dominated for years when Lewis was there, before Lewis, you know, and then Matt come and he jumped, like you say, at the right time. Ferrari had the Schumacher years. They look like they're on that upwards direct, that upwards slope. That you know they're gonna win. I don't. I don't know. Mm. I just kind of. I just want Red Bull to stop winning. I. I didn't. I just. But who knows? Who knows with Who knows? Yeah. Who next knows? season. Be next season's gonna be great. I think. Mm. I was trying to find a picture. Um, I'm sure I said it to you too. It was it was when Lewis made his announcement. Um, I can't find a bloody picture. It's gonna do my head in now. But the the is it Peroni? Um, basically one of the big sponsors of Ferrari that was coming in put this post up saying, oh, you know, we've got big things coming up, blah, 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 blah. And there's all these little 
things, and one oh, one yeah, of them was a little red um, Ferrari kind of keyring, but it had forty four on it. Really, and, and that had, mm. that that post went out the day before Hamilton made his announcement. Wow. I'll try. I remember where I saw it. I must have sent, I sent it to someone. I know I did. I just can't yeah. remember it. But I'm there's I big movements yet, yeah, I think. Oh, there's a lot. Like science. science could go somewhere. Vettel's possibly coming back. I mean, Alonso's got his options open. Um, Alpine are an absolute sack of shit. Like, they've got... Somebody's got to sort them out. Um, Sauber Steak, whatever the fuck they're called, again... Where, where's that? Where's that? Where's that team going? Um, Red Bull and Danny Ricciardo is kind of not living up to the hype. Sonoda's smashing him. Like, will he last the rest of the season? Um, could we see the return of drivers that we've previously seen? Um, Lawson, uh, De Vries, uh, or could we see some? Ollie Behrman, could he come back? Interesting. I could, could will Lewis last the season? Could Lewis bow out early? One of James's points in his drunk well, message before he was drunk. Has Lewis given up on this year? It's really bad that I have to go back in. Like, I know I'm, I'm remembering this and you're having to check your phone. You sent it. I don't know. I, I at the start of the season, I said this will be a swan song, and it will. It might not. It, it, it'll, it'll fight, fight, fight. But what are we? Three races in. Four. Uh, four. Four races in. I mean, uh, it can't get any worse than what it ha- just has been. <laughs> Out in Q two, DNF. It, how it's, how it's, much worse can it get? He's still got fight in him, but. His heart is just—he he loves to race. He does. That's why he's going to Ferrari. But it—it it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that when you are driving for a team and you ain't going to be there next year, that team aren't going to put all of their focus on you, or even half of the focus on you. More than yeah. Likely. Again, yeah. What might be in the Strong. best interest of both teams? Yeah. So he, he's probably just he's there physically, and that's about it. He'll he'll want to mm-hmm. end with Mercedes on a high, but equally he's fighting with one hand tied behind his back. And like you say, all the meetings about the new regulations and the new car, it'll all be to what George wants. And George and Lewis are very different drivers and want a different thing from the car. So. Any updates that have brought this season are going to be tailored more towards George. But, you know, Lewis is a class driver at the end of the day and I'd like him to get a couple of wins this year regardless, but I think Red Bull's too strong anyway. Yeah, I I do believe that. And, yeah, don't, don't get it twisted from this weekend. Do not. And don't, don't. Don't faint with or oh, Ferrari close. They're not. They're not even out of fifth gear yet. They're not even out of fourth gear yet. Sorry, they're no, just thing. That that's the thing in it. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at that one you race and think this is going to be the game change. I mean, I'd like to think it's going to be a game change. I don't think it will be. We'd, we'd need to see a couple more races and see is there more issues at Red Bull than we know, but. In quality, one lap, yes, they are close. The race, miles away, miles away. Yep, yeah, I totally agree. Um, so this weekend, Suzuka, it's been brought forward by quite a bit. Obviously, it got cancelled, was it, last year? Um, I think because of the rain, wasn't it? And it's been... It's been... been, it's crap. been it's been borderline cancelled for the last two or three years, so they decided to bring yeah. to April. Bit better weather. Six AM start for us in the UK race on Sunday. Uh, fifty-three lap race. 
18 corners, 3.6 mile circuit. Quite an old school circuit, Japan. Beautiful, beautiful circuit. Would you call it prestigious track? Uh, I have I've thought this before this before the podcast. I'm not sure. I would say yeah. Gotta say it, Tony. Say the word, I'd say, Tony. I'd say it's prestigious. I think it's uh, you name me a more prestigious circuit in the southern hemisphere. Melbourne Park. Mm. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I think that. I mean, Australia, and thank God they're doing it next year, is going back to the first race of the season. For me, it's always been a prestigious track because that started the season. That was, right, first race of the season, Australia, 4am, get up, watch it. And obviously it hasn't been the first race for a few years. And that's what give it its prestigious title more so than the layout of the track. I think you can be prestigious in different ways. Japan is more a old school, historic, prestigious track. It's a go kart. It's more like a go kart track. You've got corners like one thirty R and Spoon and others. It's quick, yeah. And the road goes over each other as well. That's it's a figure cool. of eight. It's a figure of eight layout. Yes, that's right. That's very well done. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I, I'm trying to think of any others in the summer hemisphere that are prestigious, and I can't think of any. No, I've got yeah. Shanghai, Brazil. China, no, not really. Bahrain, no. Qatar, no. <laughs> Abu Dhabi, no. There's South America. I mean, Brazil. there's Brazil, Interlagos, yeah. Probably close, but mm. no, I think, yeah, I think you're right there. Um, yeah, so have we got predictions? I got mine. Yes, I have got predictions from so Beth. host goes first. Indeed. Unfortunately. Tony made a comment about five minutes ago and said, oh, let's all not jump on the Ferrari bandwagon. Um, the the close, but not that close. I'm going to go... Oh, balls deep here. You've not just jumped on the bandwagon, but you're already putting them in for the predictions. Yeah. I have gone Max to win. Sure. Oh, I thought you were going Ferrari 1-2 again. No, I have gone Ferrari second and third. Okay. So I've gone Leclerc second and Sainz oh. third. So I'd already written mine down. Right, so let's ago. go to James next then. Oh, actually, yeah. A funny feeling. No, no, it is huh? right. I did over a week. Drunk James yeah. made these predictions. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. Max, Sainz. Sainz, Leclerc. Did you? Yeah. Maybe that's where I got that from. Max Science Leclerc. I'm really sorry. I I totally forgot, but I have copied you. No, you won't. Because you the best. Oh, no, I've gone the other way, yeah. Sorry, I've got the other way. The best on the same as Mark. Max, Charles, Carlos. So... The FIA has gone the same as me. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna. The I'm FIA. Gonna go Max. <laughs> Perez. Signs. Which I think is what Beth actually originally put and then said no and deleted it and then picked Max Charles Carlos. So. Okay. I might well, be I might be really really playing with fire there, but I don't give a fuck. But, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the way that kept fuck the uh, 
Fuck the FI. I didn't say that. I didn't no. say that. Right, anyway, <laughs> I nearly said it. Fuck the FI. Mm-mm. Charlie, what's <laughs> Charlie's prediction? Charlie has gone signs for the win. Signs for the win. Who second, I'm sorry? Not... Sorry. Who... Uh, I didn't hear that. Leclerc. And Norris third. So Sainz, Leclerc, Norris. Yarp. I, you know what? I do I do I do dream that there's a double DNF for Max Verstappen, but I, no, it's a dream. It's merely a dream. Merely Apparently a dream. it was a mechanics error. He they always take the brakes apart after quali. And place the pads and the discs ready for the race. There was something, either a spring or he just didn't set them right or tighten them right. Because Max, it was a very big thing. I don't know if you saw it, James. That when Max got out of the car, he went straight to the back of the garage and apparently he was effing and jeffing and was very angry and having, saying it was fucking ridiculous. I didn't that see that. I didn't see that. Oh, it doesn't sound like Max Verstappen. Um, but if it was an error, it was an error. It, but yeah, I, I don't know. I can't see them making it again. Let's put it that way. But yeah, because that mechanic's being suspended pending investigation, yeah. and he's not allowed to anyone apart from his dad and his brother. Well, apparently, Christian Horner sent him dirty text messages. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. So, anything else before I get a suspension or penalty points on my license or anything? Not that I can think of. Not that no, I can. I'm, not I'm interested to see what the race is like. I hope the weather's good. I hope the weather's good, but we'll see. We shall see. I can't see Mac doing any good. I mean, Australia. Yeah. Is a track that they said, "Oh, we knew our car doesn't suit the characteristics of the state circuit." Um, I'm trying to think. Japan and things that I've read, they're not going to do well. They're not going to do well at this track. No, because it's medium, medium it's corner a fast, speed corners. Fast. It, yeah, medium to fast speed, and they're not very well. They're not very good in that, are they? No, no. So if they finish. In the top ten, that'll be a win for them. Do you think that bad? That's what it's like. Do you think that bad? Yeah, that's what yeah. it is now. That's what it is at Mercedes now. That's mm. what it's come down to. I don't mm. think really this week this year. What about McLaren? Because they're always mm. up there. But I mean, like you say, there was the team orders at Australia. They were pretty. I off mean, the they're... Race. again. Crap start for them. Well, not a crap start, actually. That's a bit harsh. The, the slow start, they're not up there as where they were in last season at the end. It'll be interesting to see how well they do, I think. For, uh, but they've just behind they've got, Ferrari. They're, they're already Adam. a lot better than last, last season. season. Like yeah, true. Yeah. True. They're not. They've started the season. Yeah, they were well off last season. They're a lot closer this season. Aston Martin seem to be nowhere. They're a mm. bit. They're a bit kind of. Middle the ground. Um, they're thereabouts, are they again? Top Al- ten team. Alpine shit. Stake Salba shit. Williams shit. Haas. Um, Haas shit. Toro Rosso <laughs> shit. Sorry. R- Red Bull. R- RB Cash App, whatever they're called. Shit. Regardless, whatever the name is. Yeah. <laughs> shit. I much. mean, every, every, pretty much everyone's shit except Red Bull, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. In- including potentially our version of the FIA. Wow. Yeah. Really, really. You almost if the FIA you get all of that. Oh. Ah, well. <laughs> Ah, oh, well. I mean, they can dock me points from last week, but I didn't. I basically, I give, <laughs> my, I give myself a penalty because I didn't get any points. So. <laughs> I mean, 
dear me. Anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we've put a little bow on it. It's been a different episode this week. We've talked very little about the race because we're a couple of weeks behind, but it's been good. It's been different. Um, Let's hope next week we have a good race to talk about. I'm just pleading. Pleading it's good. Praying. 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 But, you know, will signs continue the form? Will the clerk step make a step into the into the top three. I mean no one's talk, no one's talking about Leclerc. We've we've meant we've kind of skated around it. He's not really done a lot, has he? Sant's had an operation and come back and beat him. Again in the same car we talk about Perez and Max. <laughs> Is Leclerc kind of a bit of a disappointment so far? Yeah, I would say, I would definitely say so. 100% say so. 100%. He needs to nail quality, get ahead of science, and then go from there. Mm. But, hey, we haven't seen some crashes on the first corner, have we, lately? No, no, they've all been behaving. That all uh, could change. I mean, Logan Sargent missed the last race. That's probably why they want a massive pile up. Uh, yeah, but well, on, that, on on that note, ciao, um, arrivederci. Arrivederci, Gabella. I I will Google some more Italian words for next week. Um, but as always, thanks for joining me, Tony and James. As always, thanks to Andy and Cookie Cast. I know Andy's got a busy quite a few um podcast to do tonight so like share subscribe us listen to the other podcasts on the channel i mean hopefully these guys will tell people about this podcast going forward but we can't have about it. In. you know i mean he missed a vital opportunity to get us out in turkey but never mind oh well oh well it was, Next time. It was what sorry I end up trying to water Racky at times. I'm not then going to sit there and try and tell them about listening to a podcast. Gosh, but well, this is why we need business cards. We keep saying it. We need business. Just leave them. Just leave them leave randomly them. about. We will get there, Andy. We'll have we'll get ten, We'll have ten listeners by the end of the year. Yes. Yeah. It's us. Get it done. That's the aim. We've made it. Um. Yep. Anyway, thanks, guys. See you next week. See you soon, boys. Goodbye. Boom, just like that. They were done. They were out of there. Shooting off down the straight. Straight to the apex. See what I did there. Big thank you to the guys for bringing you the Formula One knowledge. Big thank you to you for listening and or watching. Before you go, please do consider like, share, subscribe and comment. Leave reviews where you can leave reviews and check out the website, thecookiecast.com. There you'll find social media links and an email button for you to get in touch with these guys and say, hey, love the podcast. That is it from me. That is it from these guys for another week. Join us next time with more Formula One goodness. But until then, I'm going to say bye and I'll see you then. Thanks for listening. If you liked this episode of Cookie Cast, please like, share and subscribe.